What's going on guys? Welcome to week one of season five. Wanted to fill you guys in on recruiting. Unfortunately, we did not get any instant commits this season, to this point at least. Usually it's always in week one. And um, But we do have, you know, a lot of just a totally stacked um, recruiting board at this point. Used a lot of points on scouting this week. Um, but half of these guys are going to be visiting uh, for week one against South Carolina. So going to be an important game that we start out on the right foot and uh, end up going out and winning. So let's go ahead and take a look at the matchup for week one against South Carolina. So obviously neither team having played yet. It's hard to really say too much about who has the advantage, but in terms of you know ratings, uh, we have the overall advantage, the defense advantage, but they do have the advantage on offense. So um, something to look out, how, look after is how does our defense hold up against their offense. Let's go ahead and jump into the game highlights and check out this year's team. We are at home for week one. Our first game in conference play as a member of the SEC. Not a raindrop in sight. Beautiful day. I'm going to try to get our first win as a member of the SEC as well. Here's the opening kickoff of the season. Damian Caba back to return. He's going to take it in the end zone and bring it out. He's got some blocks on the right side. He's down the right sideline. And he's got speed. Makes a guy miss. Another guy misses one guy to beat. He can't catch him, and he's going to be gone. Takes it 104 yards, and for the second time in this series, we've returned the opening kickoff of the season for a touchdown. We're going to be up 7-0 here against South Carolina, and that's going to be a new NCAA record for longest kick return. What a play to open up season number five. South Carolina ball on their first drive. It's third and seven early. Sellers avoids the sack, gets it to Cox, but Connor Cox is going to go down for a four-yard gain. Not going to be enough for the first down. And we have finally reached the point of the series where teams just stop recruiting punters. So kind of a pathetic punt, but it rolls all the way down inside the 20. So, you know, maybe it is a brilliant move. Here's our rookie quarterback, freshman Micah Fawanuku takes off on second and six. Gets a big gain down the right side, but he loses the ball. And quick for the defense, picks it up. So a rookie player makes a rookie mistake there and loses the ball. South Carolina gets it back. Third and nine on their next drive. Sellers drops back to pass. He has all day to throw it. Uh, but Brian Dixon's going to come in and make the sack after a loss of six. South Carolina punts it with fifth, on fourth and 15. Next drive for us on first down. Pass over the middle to Gerard Cole. A little bit better start there for Faunuku to this drive. First and 10, Faunuku drops back, passes it over the middle, finds Brian Miller for 16 yards. Big gain there. Second and one, under pressure, halfback screen to Allen Samuel Jr., who breaks it back outside, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a 16-yard touchdown. 14 to nothing is going to be the score. That's the first passing touchdown of Micah Faunuku's young career. Going to be seeing a lot more of those, I have to imagine. Next drive for South Carolina. Sellers drops back again all day to throw. This time it's incomplete, but what is... <laughs> the receiver dropped the ball and the diving catch here on the interception. He's able to grab it, gets the right hand down, and tucks the football. What a play. Is this team about to be insane? Somebody tell me. Third and ten. Deep bomb down the left side. Brian Miller is all alone for the touchdown. 38 yards on that one. What a way to bounce back from that opening drive fumble. 21-0 is going to be the score here in the first quarter still. First and 10 for South Carolina. Sellers over the middle to Connor Cox. He's got it for a big gain up the middle. 20 yards on that one. Next play. First and 10. Sellers drops back looking. Goes over to the left side. But this one's going to be picked off by Chris Hare Griffin. Second pick of the day for Sellers, and that's going to be our ball with two minutes left here in the first quarter still. Faunuku on first and ten, pass to the right sideline, gets uh, jo Jonathan Brooks, Justin Brooks for the 22-yard reception. Moving the ball with relative ease through the air. Faunuku over the middle to uh, Justin Brooks once again, who gets a big stiff arm and cuts back inside close to the 40. Another big gain there for the passing offense. Play action for Faunuku this time. Can't get the pass off on third down. It's going to be fourth and six. 
first signs of uh, some issues at O-line that might might be coming up later in the season. We'll just have to wait and see. Third and 15, Sellers looking. Pass over to the left side. Finds Caleb Bailey for 14 yards. But he's going to be a yard short of the first. And they're going to have to pump the ball back to us once again. Second and eight, Faunuku on the run. Got a lot of space to move here. Look at the speed. Gets all the way down to the 32-yard line. 27 yards on that one. On third and three in the red zone, pass over the middle to Gerard Cole, who pulls, hauls it in and takes it for 12 yards down inside the five. And on the next play, first and goal, Fawanuku gets brought down by the face mask. Brutal play. He looks like he's hurt. Going to have to see what's going on with him. Hartfixon comes in on the next play to hand it off to Allen Samuel Jr., who powers his way in for the touchdown, but concerning on the injury there for Micah Fawanuku. Next drive for South Carolina, second and 17, Sellers. Gets hit by Colton Barton and loses the ball. TJ Ellis is going to pick it up, but it's another turnover for the South Carolina offense midway through the second quarter. Faunuku's back in the game. Looks like he's all right. Pass over the middle and third down is off the mark. That's going to bring up fourth and six. Adam Wales is going to come in for another field goal. This one's a chip shot. It goes through to make it a 34 to nothing game. Still midway through the second quarter. South Carolina can't get anything going on offense. It's going to be fourth and two. They punt the ball back to us once again. Gerard Cole over the middle this time gets a stiff arm and is brought down by the face mask once again. South Carolina playing a little bit dirty here, getting a couple of face mask penalties in the first half. But that gives us great position here to go in and score. Hand off up the middle. Allen Samuel Jr. untouched. Walks into the end zone for a four-yard touchdown, making it 41-0 here in the first half. Sellers deep pass to the left side. That one's picked off, but he can't get the feet down. Unfortunately, but that is going to bring up fourth and long. They end up punting once again. First and 10, Miles Ray on the left side for 17 yards, running that one minute offense. Next play, pass over the middle to Gerard Cole. He's able to get a first down and gets uh, 14 yards on that one. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to get out of bounds, but we're still on the move here. First and 10, Faunuku starts to scramble, but gets the pass off to Justin Brooks once again, this time on the left sideline. And on third and two, open in the end zone, it's Jeremy Smith for the 10-yard reception. And we're going to take a 48 to nothing lead into the half. Unreal on both sides of the ball. I'm not sure which side I'm more impressed with, the offense or the defense. But it looks like we've got a squad this year. Opening drive of the second half for South Carolina. Pass over to the left side's complete to Caleb Bailey for 14 yards. They were able to keep the chains moving on this drive. On third and 10, bringing the corner blitz. Sellers able to get protection. Finds Emery on the right side, but he can't hold on. Drops the ball. And on fourth and 10, South Carolina is going to have to punt. For a team that punts this much, it's strange that they don't have a punter. Harvickson tries to get it over to the receiver on the sideline there on third and long, but not able to complete it. Adam Wales is going to come in for his third field goal of the game, which is straight down the middle, making it 51-0 midway through the third quarter. Sellers taking off on second to seven. He's going to lose the ball, and Taven Lebowitz falls on it. Forgot to mention that the backups are all in at this point. Just took him out at halftime. So we get the ball back on the fourth turnover of the game for South Carolina, and Harvickson drops a dime to Davon Smith there for a big game. Second and 10, Harvickson over to the right side, and look at this, Chris Hare Griffin, defensive back is in at receiver. He hauls in a big catch on the sideline. And on first and goal, pass over the middle to Benny Faison's complete for nine yard touchdown. He would go down with an injury on that one, and he's gonna be out for the rest of the game, but he um, is gonna be fine. So next drive for South Carolina, third and 15, Sellers under pressure, completes a beautiful pass there to McCauley the third. Down to about the 30, 35 yard line, 30 yard line. But on third and six, he's going to drop back to pass and complete the pass to Huntsman, but he's going to be a couple yards short of the first down. And with this field goal, South Carolina is finally on the board with a minute and a half left in the third. It's 58 to three. Third and long for Harvickson. He launches a deep bomb down the right side, and Justin Brooks hauls it in. We've been calling his name a lot today. He's got 48 yards on that one. 
beautiful pass. First and 10, Harvickson drops it back over the middle to David Ponder, who breaks a tackle and just plows his way into the end zone for an 11-yard touchdown. That's going to make it 65-3 to late in the or early in the fourth quarter. Third down play, Woodson McCauley is able to get a couple yards, but he's going to be about a foot short of that yard, first down line. And on the next play, Braswell's getting blasted in the backfield. This time it's um, a Nick or a Caggiano. Third and eight. Rolling out right is Harpixon. Nowhere to go but look at the athleticism. Looking like Mac Jones out here. He's able to pick up the first down on the improv play to keep the clock rolling. Trying to run the clock down as much as we can. David Ponder just powering his way forward on that one for a big gain. And that's going to be enough to let us run the clock out here. Final play, option keeper for Harvickson gets about 8 yards down close to the 20. And at that point, we are able to run the clock out. Micah Fawanuku in his first game of his career gets player of the game honors. 256 yards and 3 touchdowns. And remember, he came out at halftime. So big time game for him. Big time game for the offense and the defense. 4 takeaways end up out gaining them 570 to 236. Held them to 1 of 10 on 3rd downs, 0 of 1 on 4th downs, and dominated time of possession. Just overall, a dominant performance. Alright, here are the top 25 matchups for Week 1. Minnesota gets a big upset over number 3 UCLA in Week 1, 34-29. Arkansas gets a dominant win over number 11 Tennessee, 41-17. SMU is going to upset number 18 Baylor, 38-21. Wisconsin gets a 63-21 win over number 24, BYU. Number 25, Arizona falls to UTEP, 49-42. Game day game of the week, number 23, Georgia takes down number 17, Texas, 52-35. Number 1, Alabama falls in week 1 to Michigan State, 28-23 is the final score. And that's going to do it for this week's top 25 matchups. We're going to go ahead and move on to week number 2. So we got three really, really high quality recruits commit this week along with um, a bunch of others are now ready to visit. Let's go ahead and take a look at these three guys and see how they, uh, how they stack up. So starting with Sam Johnson, 85 overall athlete, definitely gonna be a defensive back for us. Number four athlete in the country, four star guy, six foot, 183. He's the guy we looked at earlier, uh, 96 speed, 99 acceleration, 90s all over the board. Um, really good coverage skills. This guy's going to be a beast. Speaking of beasts, uh, Nico Little, 6'7", 255 defensive tackle. Monster of a man. Uh, has pretty good strength, 82. Really good tackle stat. Pursuit's pretty good. Hit power's good. Block shedding could be improved, but definitely a top-notch recruit. And lastly, at quarterback, a guy we also looked at earlier, five-star, number three quarterback in the country, six foot three, two thirty-five, good size on him. Not the best speed, but still better than average. Um, really good passing stats, pretty good elusiveness. So yeah, gonna be a great, um, you know, follow-up quarterback after Micah's time's over. So that's going to do it for this episode. We've got a tough matchup on the road taking on number seven, Washington, in week two. So be sure to tune in tomorrow for that one. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys tomorrow for this matchup.